I don't really go out my way to play the game, but anyway, so I, I've it's I, it, there's a lot of positive reviews out there right now for um, for the Star Wars Outlaw game, and then there's a number of reviews from people who do not benefit by doing the review either way, doing honest reviews which are very negative. Seems very much like a lot of the positive reviews are being influenced by Ubisoft uh, to get those positive reviews to sell the game. When uh, So they're not happy with the genuine ones which don't portray the game in a good light. So we have this. The channel removes their Star Wars Outlaws preview after admitting third party agency had to approve it. What in the world? Hang on, so German YouTube channel removes their Star Wars Outlaws preview video after admitting third party agency had to approve it. So effectively, they uploaded it too soon without it being vetted and being okayed. What the world is going on with this game? Now they have to have the right review in order for you to air it? You have to say the right things? What's going on with this game? Yeah, because they don't, they don't want the game going out and people's trashing all over it before the game's launched and then no one will buy the game. So they go the, at the moment, a lot of companies are going out the way to ensure glowing positive reviews. Even if it's like you cannot release a video until this date you can, and then say you must not do anything negative. There's loads of these uh, rules being put into place by the, uh, by the creators uh, on the YouTube content creators to make sure that they give amazing reviews. And the, a lot of the YouTube content creators will give amazing reviews because they don't want to lose out on the next big thing. It's, it's terrible. Game. Man, in this video I'm going to show you this. I'm going to show you how uh, uh, Ubisoft... You know, buttered up YouTubers and influencers with trips to Disneyland to promote yeah. Star Wars Outlaws. Um, we're going to show you a lot of this stuff because I can't believe you've created a Star Wars video game and you have to go to this extreme just to hope that people would buy it. Yeah, if, if Ubisoft are going to the point where they're game sending people out to Disneyland giving them perks and you know gratuities and all these other things uh and like saying look if you don't like the game that's fine give it a good review and doing everything they can to get 100 percent positive genuine reviews then there's something seriously wrong with the game and the fact is i have seen quite a lot of honest reviews where the, they say the game is absolute trash against many many reviews where they say the game's really good and it's amazing, but are clearly influenced to say that. It's a Star Wars game. It's a layup. It's a freaking layup. You don't need to influence anybody. Should you should have just put out a great game. And that's it. I'm sorry, I'm getting a yeah. little heated. Star Wars used to mean quality. It did. Yeah, absolutely. Star it, when, when someone saw the word Star Wars, they knew what they were going to get. And they knew it was going to be really good. And that was like a Star Wars, like a, a guarantee of uh, quality. Like Disney used to be a guarantee of quality. Look how far they have all fallen. Getting a little heated here. But uh, before we get into this, if you could do me a huge favor. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button. It's I'll be honest, guys. That you could do I really like that channel. shirt there. And also, my the new Rebel shirt Scum drop, one. the Rebel Scum shirt, is available only for about 12 I'm really more days. Tempted. The link is in the pinned comment and in the description. Pick it up. It's with really Dynamite tempted Apparel. to get the they Rebel Scum. Work with the military. Looks so, so good. Uh, check that out. This is Drunk All CPO, right. C3PO, by the way. Video. Great channel. Also, really good a huge content. shout out to that park place. They're doing some great great work over there go check them out german youtube channel man i don't even know how to pronounce that forgive Pitch me Smith. remove their star wars outlaw preview video after admitting a third party agency had to approve their nearly one hour reaction video after spending four hours with the game so they got the game early obviously they're probably a bigger channel they got the game early oh i tell you what as a content creator i bet they were ticked off like, if they'd want to play, spend four hours with the game 
and then create done a one hour reaction video and then they have to like get it approved I bet there's going to be loads of adjustments that need to be done and it will be so much work to have it corrected I bet they'll be well ticked off they could do a review they could release it they weren't going to get struck and uh, it was removed they posted this in their community tab and this was translated it says hi Pete here we've taken the Star Wars video offline not because we wanted to sweep something under the carpet or anything but because it should never have been published and we don't want it on the channel we'll talk a bit more about this in the next um, episode I'm sorry the channel made another post basically saying yeah they played the game for four hours they did an hour video and then they sent it in and it was reviewed by a third party not ubisoft and they asked for a lot of changes come on especially the wording at the beginning what was the wording at the beginning it says but since i yeah so basically the content has had so many adjustments because he's been honest and there's been so many things that said you need to change all this he's like you know what I, it's going to take me hours to do that i've always spent hours i can't be asked forget it i'll wait until everyone else is releasing their youtube videos and then i'll put mine up when the NDA is finished. I personally yeah. thought the game was really cool. I didn't see it as a big problem. This was a huge It's almost like blackmail. Then they yeah. were like, hey, sorry. You don't have to pre-order a game, of course. You can buy whatever you like with your own money. So as for that wording, at the beginning, a source was able to view the video before it was removed. And that wording in the beginning encouraged viewers to pre-order the game and shared that he liked the game. So basically he took it down because he didn't like the fact that he had to tell people to pre-order the game. Oh. That's uh, interesting. So he was the, right, yeah. Because a lot of the publishers will say, you must include these aspects in your review. You must say these keywords. You must do these things. You must not say something negative. You, mu you cannot say something like that um so and uh, yeah it's it's basically they're trying to get these content creators to give a five star review with no negatives um to to swindle the public to to pull the wool over the eyes of the consumer which is what it is it's basically you are hijacking and constorting and twisting the facts and the truth to take advantage of unwitting customers to basically take their money on false pretenses it's absolutely appalling it's tantamount to stealing possibly possibly so if you get the game for free you gotta pure this I, I don't do this kind of stuff the only product that i ever push is something that i use wear or if it's a company that I believe in, uh, like Nine Line Apparel, like you saw crap, so before, it'll be a I've been crap with game. Nine Line for years now. I've uh, put videos up of the good work that they've done with the veterans, and uh, it's truly amazing. So I'm honored to have my merch with them, and I hope we have many more years working together. But the article continues, it talks about YouTuber Total Biscuit when he saw his review of Wild Games Studio copyright struck by the developer. After they previously supplied him with a review code, they did not like his negative review trashing the game, so they struck his channel. And there you are. You know, the before the game came out, the developer is doing everything they can to get just nothing but positive publicity. Any negative that comes out, copyright strike you. And that for that channel for the depending what it is it could be serious because you can only get three proper strikes of a type so that's insane man that's insane see that's what happens if you don't play by the rules they try to remove you let's strike the channel that could do some serious damage to people's youtube channels Just possibly so. like remove it maybe a shadow band you know, um, they could lose revenue. Some of these people do this yeah. for, you know, they, they rely on all that money to take care do, of their yeah. families. And because you didn't like their review, it's like we're going to strike the channel, even though we gave it to him for free to review it on his channel anyway. 
That's wild. So be careful out there. Be careful out there, YouTuber, TikToker. When they send you free stuff, just be careful. Just got to say all the right things mm. or else. Speaking of YouTubers and TikTokers and influencers, everybody loves that name, right? Ubisoft buttered up YouTubers and influencers with trips to Disneyland and boat tours to promote Star Wars Outlaws. It, it's funny to me because some of these people are saying, I wasn't paid to give a good review. I, was uh, I didn't get paid for the review. I didn't do anything wrong because I didn't actually get any money for it. But you got thousands of pounds in other indirect ways. Okay, yeah, that works. It's just given a free trip, free food. Free you board. Know, um, probably a per diem, which, which is a little bit of spending money. Uh, all that stuff to uh, play the game. But I wasn't paid, so uh, don't don't call me one of these people. Listen, this is not a shock with star anything related to Star Wars. Probably anything Disney. We saw this with the Galactic Star Cruiser. They looked for vloggers that had, you know, a lot of subscribers. Gave them a free trip. And it was amazing how many of them said the exact... It's, it's interesting. Um, he's covering the same things I've just said same thing about the same experience is what about the food about the certain things they said the exact same thing and some of them have taken those videos down yeah it's almost like a lot of them were reading off the same kind of script and yeah a lot of the video quite a lot of them have taken their reviews down because uh, a lot of them started getting like a lot of hate for it basically saying you're selling out and you're basically just lying to consumers the the disney galaxy hotel is most probably the most blatant um, I have seen any company to sway reviews to be 100% positive to promote them. Um, they were really bad for it. And I wish I had made a compilation back then, but... Uh, yeah, good call. Why that. didn't you offer this game to Star Wars Theory and let him give an honest review? He's the biggest Star Wars YouTube channel out there. Maybe take some of his feedback... Um, you know, give it to someone like that if you really want to sell a game. I'm telling you. Yeah. But uh, obviously you they guys did because it's scary. It's like you, say you, it's terrible. you, you want to fly people out that you know will say positive things, that will say all the right things, sell and you out. think that's going to help sell your game. It's not. Corporate sales. You know what Sorry, that's going to help sales. do? It's going to help create newer YouTubers and vloggers and TikTokers that will just become shills. Because they want to get on the gravy train. That's all you're going to create. You're not going to yeah. create buzz. You're not going to create more sales. It's not going to work anymore. Everybody sees right through it. You're not fooling anyone. Um, but we would respect you more. Would I do it? If you... Um, all right. So let's say my channel gets to five, 5 million subscribers. It's never going to happen. So let's say we get to 5 million subscribers and I get contacted by companies and things all the time saying, can you promote this and blah, 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 and do this for us and do that for us and blah, 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 and all that sort of thing. Um, would I, what would I do in this scenario? Um, I'm not sure. I, I don't think I'll ever get to a channel that's that big uh, and I'll actually get these sort of things. Um, I think I would most probably put uh, uh, something in there saying, look um this is my honest review and do it that way or uh if it's uh if it's a case of i've been told to say certain thing i say i'm going to give you an honest review but i will state when i've been instructed to inform you of something by the creator like the manufacturer so it'd be a case of like wolverine claws um so i have to so the, when i bought when i was given these uh, this is an example. When I was giving these, I was told I must not say that they're sharp and dangerous, and I must say that they're great value. So I would say, you know, I really like them. The metal effect looks really good on them. They feel really comfortable in the hand. Um, but I've been told by the maker or the manufacturer that um, I must advise you that these are not sharp and that uh, they're really good value. Personally, I do think they're quite sharp on the point there, but they're not dangerous on the blade side. You know, so I'd most probably do something like that if I could, and then the most probably never work with me again. We'll see. I don't know. It's a weird one. Gave the game out to people and let them be completely honest. 
Let them be yeah. completely honest. And, and, and again, it'll it's backfire on the YouTubers. Game. Yeah, it it will. I mean, to be honest, if if you got so you're a big YouTuber, and say you are one of these that reviews a Star Wars Outlaw game, um, and the game is absolute trash. I mean, it's terrible. It is a really crap game. Yeah? So, say it's a really crap game. It gets a, a 1 out of 5 on all the reviews online and the pay, in the comics and uh, review places. Um, then, what will happen is it's, it's going to backfire on the, the YouTuber. And that's when do you hold up to your ethics and be do honest reviews where people can trust you and go and what you say or do you basically sell out be a corporate shill and then over time people catch on and be like you know what this guy just lies about everything because he has to to get the next like deal uh so i don't believe anything and because i don't believe anything he says that trust that the viewer with the, uh, has with the content creator could wane or go. And I think at that point, once, unless your content is really good and inter entertaining, that's, that subscriber will leave. And if you do it enough and over enough time, a lot of your subscribers leave. So I think it could damage them. Uh, so you need to think, do I sell out? Or do I turn around and say, I'll do a review, but I'm going to be completely honest. And if you don't like that, don't give it to me a review. So, yeah. Tricky one. Tricky one.